morning, Grandma. Look, I am ready for school first. Good morning, Chino. You are a good boy today. You got ready first. Grandma, even Minu and I are ready. Bye, Grandma. We are going to school. Bye, children. <coughs> Let's run to our class now. This school bell has rung. Minu, look. A girl is sitting there. She looks very sad. Why isn't she coming to class? Come, let's go and ask her. Hello, my name is Minu. This is my brother Chinu, and this is our friend Buzz. What is your name? Why are you so sad? Will you come to class with us? Hello, Minu. Hello, Chinu. Hello, Buzz. My name is Chameli. I am new to this village and to the school. I am sad because I don't have any friends. That's why I don't want to come to the class. Oh no! Don't be sad, Chameli. We are your friends. Even our other friends are very kind. They will be friends with you. Thank you, Chinu. Okay, now, smile, Chameli. Let us go to class first. Then you can meet our friends also. I am ready. Let's go. But will your friends like me? Will they want to be friends with me? Don't worry, Chameli. They will be friends with you. When did you come to our village? Where were you before? We were in many places before. I am from Thania village. Some years back, when I was really small, we went to Champa village. Champa village? But why did you move away from your Thania village? Was there any problem? Was Champa village closer to your Tania village? Champa village was across the river. There was no problem in our village. They were building a dam across the river. So we had to move. Look there. That is my ma. That's your ma. Come, let's go and meet her. Hello, Auntie. My name is Minu. We are Chameli's new friends. Hello, children. Thank you for becoming Chameli's friends. She has been very sad since we came to this village. She has no friends and does not even want to go to school. I am happy that you are her friends now. Thank you, Auntie. Have you come to meet our teacher? Yes, children. Your teacher wanted Chameli's birth certificate. But I don't have it. It is in our village. Thania or Champa? Who told you? Chameli? I don't know. I think it is in Champa. We had to move houses many times and I don't even remember where I kept it. Auntie, Chameli said that they were building a dam in your village, Thania. That's right, my child. That is why we had to move out of our village. Auntie, was your village nice? Nice? It was the most beautiful place. It was in the middle of thick green jungles and hills. There were lots of trees. We could hear the sound of birds chirping, river flowing and the murmur of trees. It was a very peaceful place. People loved each other. What did the people do? Did they work in the village itself, auntie? Yes, Minu. 
people did farming. I used to go to the nearby forest with my friends to collect wood and fruits. We used to collect things from the forest and sell some of them in the town market, which was across the river. River? You had a river in your village? Yes, we had a nice big river flowing near our village. The forest was near the village. So, we used to go there every day. We all used to sing and chat all the way. Oh, that must have been lots of fun, auntie. Yes, even I used to go with Ma. I still remember the sound of birds and the tall trees in the forest. On the way, my friends and I used to catch fish from the river. We even knew the different types of fish. Yes, we used to take our children along. They also learned about different types of birds and animals. We also used to sing and dance all the way. I had many friends. We had lots of friends. All of us had lots of friends. The whole village used to live like one big family. Even when my sister got married, everybody in the village helped us. We all were dancing and singing for two days. It was so much fun. Then why did you leave such a beautiful village, auntie? We did not want to leave the village. We had no choice. They were building a dam on the river. Dam? What is a dam? Buzz, dam is a huge wall built across a river to stop the flow of the river. Why do they stop the flow of the river? Why do they build dams? Dams help in many ways. It helps in providing irrigation. It also helps to create electricity. Electricity? How can you create electricity with dams? Chameli, electricity is created with the help of water also. So, they build dams to store water to create electricity. Just like they do in Bhakranangal Dam. Meenu, what is this new name? Where is this Bhakranangal Dam? I will tell you, Buzz. It is in the state of Himachal Pradesh. It is built across the Satluj River on the border between Punjab and Himachal Pradesh. Now wait, wait, Chinu. I am opening my map. I will look for Punjab and Himachal Pradesh. Let me show it to you, Baz. This is Punjab and this is Himachal Pradesh. Look, this line is the Satluj River. Bhakra Nangal Dam is built across this river. This dam provides irrigation to the fields in Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, Delhi, Rajasthan and Haryana. Irrigation to so many states? What is irrigation? <laughs> you don't even know simple things, Baz. How will you know what irrigation is? Irrigation means providing water to the fields for the crops to grow. Some places don't get enough rainfall. There is not enough water for the fields. Then irrigation helps the fields get enough water. In Bhakra Nangal Dam, electricity is generated. So, dams help in producing electricity also. So, dams help to produce electricity. Dams also help in irrigation. Then farmers must be very happy. Yes, Buzz. Dams are very good for some people. 
but for some people like us it was not good because we had to leave our home and our village oh i have read it in the newspaper auntie when they build a dam they build a big wall to stop the flow of the river that will flood and drown the villages on the banks of the river yes meenu even i read it in the newspaper the other day so the villages on the banks of the river are removed the people in those villages go to live in other villages that's right chinu that is how we moved out of thania village none of us wanted to move we were all very sad but the police and government people came and said that we have to move to champa village my papa was very happy to move to champa village he thought we will get a new house yes he told me that we should not be sad we will be given a new house there will be taps in the house we don't have to draw water from the river and well he also said that there will be electricity auntie that's so nice the place must have been good no my child our house in champa village was much smaller than what we had in thania we had taps but no water we had switches but no electricity the people in champa village did not like us they started making fun of us they made fun every time we spoke our language was different from theirs i went to a school there even the children out there used to make fun of the way i spoke oh that's so sad did you not have any friends no we did not we were very sad we were like unwanted guests to the people of champa village they did not like us coming to their village we had no work and so no money we had no field to do farming so we left champa village to come to my brother's house in delhi delhi you went to delhi yes we all went to delhi we had to go somewhere from champa so we went to my uncle's house in delhi delhi where is that baz delhi is the capital of our country how can you forget show me the map i will show you delhi look this is delhi auntie what did you do in delhi delhi is a big city lots of people live in that city we lived with my brother chameli went to a nearby school oh i did not like that school papa could not get a job ma used to work in houses to earn money for the family i used to help her in the evening and take care of my baby brother there was so much noise in that city there were lots of people but we felt very lonely in the village i used to like the sounds of chirping birds and the murmur of trees it was so peaceful and calm in the village yes our village was very peaceful and calm in spite of the noise in the city we felt the silence we felt like outsiders in that city so we left delhi also auntie this is sad you have been moving from one place to another just like our friend shama and her family they first went to kolkata and now they have gone to mumbai buzz that is different shama's father works in a bank so he gets transferred from one place to another 
He goes and works in the same bank, but in a different place. Yes, going to different places on transfer is different. It also has some problems. You have to adjust to a new place. But when big factories, dams, bridges, or highways are built, some people are moved out of those places. These things help some people. but are bad for some people like us who have to move auntie did you come to our village from delhi yes my child we recently came to this village from delhi we have a small house here now chameli's papa does farming on a piece of land chameli joined your school just yesterday auntie don't worry Our village is also very peaceful. We all live like one big family. You will like our village. Yes, my child. We have been here only for a few days. But we have started liking your village. So, our city is very bad. Do people feel very lonely in cities? No, Buzz. Cities are not bad. but not everyone likes different places my brother is very happy in delhi but we like the village better i also like the village better in the city i could not hear the sounds of chirping birds or flowing rivers i could not pluck fruits from trees i could not catch fish in the river chameli You will also like our village very much. You can come and play with all of us in the evening. We play in the garden after school finishes. Yes, Meenu. I will come and play with you. We have to go to our class now. Otherwise, we will be late. Yes. Even I will come with you to meet your teacher. Auntie, you should come to our house one day and meet our ma and grandma. Yes, Meenu, I will come soon. Friends, have you seen a dam? Is there a dam near the place where you live? Do you think building dams for irrigation and electricity is good? Or do you feel that it causes lots of trouble for some people think about it